America's high-performance aircraft, our most flexible deterrent force, must have it within their capability to reach out great distances at high altitudes. They must streak across the skies at twice the speed of sound. but they must also be able to escape detection. This means that they must hug the ground. Here is the vital area below the enemy's early warning radar beam, the safest path through a surface-to-air missile environment. Such penetration, a few feet above uncertain terrain, is full of unseen hazards. At speeds of Mach 1 and above, an altitude of less than 500 feet puts the plane one half second away from destruction. Here, the greatest danger is not the enemy, but the surface below. There are a multitude of circumstances which take away the pilot's orientation and thus his margin of safety. Every aircraft, military, civilian, or even pilotless drone or target missile could well benefit from a terrain-following system that would protect its existence. It is for this reason that General Dynamics Electronics in San Diego has developed and thoroughly flight-tested a universally acceptable terrain-following radar. Here at long last is a radar system that affords protection regardless of terrain or weather conditions. The problem of controlling an aircraft at any speed during a ground-hugging penetration mission is not overwhelming. A non-scanning radar searches out ground obstacles within the flight path, and outputs from this radar unit are fed into an analog computer. Simultaneously, a radar altimeter feeds information to the computer. Instantly, the information about the flight path and ground clearance from the computer is programmed into the autopilot or displayed on a pilot's instrument. Flight testing of such a terrain following radar system began in a B-25 that could simulate the flight characteristics of high-speed aircraft. With this aircraft, engineers safely tested pilot-controlled operation over a wide variety of flight terrain conditions that might apply to either military or private aircraft. Even in its conveniently expanded test configuration, the system was light in weight and reproducible at low cost. But most important, the system worked. With it, any pilot could safely traverse rugged terrain at low altitude under all weather conditions. In this non-scanning radar, there are no moving parts nor complex mechanisms, and computations are simplified. As the aircraft noses up to pass over a ground obstacle, the antenna points skyward and the radar altimeter determines the safe flight clearance. Based on data from the system, the computer provides pitch rate commands within the individual capabilities of the aircraft for the control in either manual or autopilot operation at any in-flight selectable clearance. In manual operation, the pilot obeys the command arrow, pulling back on the stick on the command to climb and pushing forward to descend. The system, with its fail-safe provisions, guides the pilot over rapidly changing terrain at a safe, prescribed level. The instrument provides easy-to-interpret information for any terrain following flight. The pilot simply follows the indicator commands, flying the circle, or airplane, to the arrow or clearance. To increase the variety of test accomplishments, a faster aircraft was utilized to fly in the autopilot phase. This flight test aircraft was a B-26. Guest observers were invited to receive first-hand verification of the system's capabilities at speeds of 300 knots. Tests included flights over extremely rugged mountains, with terrain following at 400 feet. Such flights can be safely made over completely unfamiliar terrain under adverse visibility. With the aircraft on autopilot, 
And with the terrain following radar system probing the ground ahead for unseen obstacles, a constant and safe clearance was provided. The system also enables a pilot to let down safely in any weather. Although the terrain following radar was developed primarily for high performance military aircraft to enable them to strengthen their mission profiles, such a system could benefit any low level flight. Today, with the sudden explosion of new hotspots throughout the world highly possible, greater and greater strengthening of mission capability is desired. The capability of low-level penetration below early warning radar beams while approaching unfamiliar terrain is always advantageous. The highly adaptable lightweight terrain following radar system provides test-proved safety over radically changing terrain with clearance that can be pre-selected. The system is so compact it will allow drones or air-to-surface missiles to fly at low level beneath early warning radar coverage. So reliable, commercial aircraft could utilize the added safety without further terrain following measures. So light in weight, that all military aircraft could utilize its benefit of unerring accuracy. So low powered and maintenance free that it could be utilized by private aircraft for added safety and performance. Flight testing in manual operation and in autopilot has been conclusive in more than 200 flight test hours. Here is a practical solution to terrain following problems. This terrain following radar system has proved its capability in over 25,000 miles of terrain following flight. This is the safe way to expand mission capability, regardless of visibility, speed, or terrain. The production configuration is an easily installed 40 pound package, which occupies only one half cubic foot. Light in weight, and simple in operation, this flight-tested radar system is adaptable to a great variety of installations. It is low in power requirements, high in reliability, yet low in maintenance and cost. In either pilot-controlled operation or in autopilot mode, the terrain-following radar system is the realistic answer. It is produced by General Dynamics Electronics, San Diego.